the first big ride. Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. So I've now driven all three models of the great Skidoo work machines, the Expedition in both 600 and 900, 16 inch and 20 inch versions, the Scandic in the 20 inch version with a 900 Ace. And uh, now I've had pretty good experience on the 600 Ace uh, Tundra long track. So I think I've got some conclusions. That's after eight years of riding. So, uh, I got 12 hours, 12 and a half hours on this 600 Ace. So I'm going to change the oil and get it in the garage for a day and then I'll uh, get the oil change kit and change it. Uh, I've been thinking about, you know, the perfect machine for uh, bison hunting. And the first part is the engine. The development of these Skidoo Bombard J engines, the 600 Ace and the 900 Ace, I think is pretty much uh, taken that out of the equation. These engines are dead reliable. They have an amazing reputation for bison hunting. They're quiet and also equally important, amazing fuel mileage. Uh, they say that this 600 Ace can get up to 28 miles to the gallon uh, on eco mode. Uh, with a light machine, and this is a fairly light machine, and 900 Ace is around 21 miles to the gallon. And that's proven to be somewhat in the range where I can go for a whole day of riding, and this has got a 9.5 gallon tank, and I use five gallons of gas. So compared to a two stroke, you know, you're using 40% less fuel probably. So you never have to bring extra fuel for the day, even maybe two days, although you might want to bring a little gas for two days. But amazing fuel economy and really, really quiet. And the reason why quiet is important is these bison are hunted so hard that they're getting very, very skittish. Uh, we were out uh, two days ago, 857 uh, yards was as close as we could get. So this is the Tundra. This is a new 2023 Tundra. It's got a 600 Ace engine. One thing I haven't said that I really wanted to say and this has got the ride on, ride off uh, cover on it. But this whole bottom is just a rounded piece. And it acts like a, basically, flotation. So when you get in deep snow, they call this the mechanical snowshoe. Because that whole front end will float. And I was worried for a while about the narrow ski stance. But I find it quite stable. I put ski skins on, which gives me another, probably inch and a half a side so an extra three inches found it very stable and the thing it's so light that even on your side milling instead of going way off on the side i find if i just sit on the corner with my present weight if i just sit on the corner i can actually heal this thing over it heals over a lot easier with the 16 inch track than the 20 inch track of the scandic so after a bit of use i have to say i like this better than the Scandic because it's a little narrower, goes through stuff a little easier. It's lighter, so it's easier to heal over. I can muscle this machine around. These are bison tracks from today. There are our bison right on the top of that little pyramidal with a round top. And you can see that they went up that ravine, side hill to cross. Looking at Skidoo's three uh, work machines, the Scandic, the Tundra, and the various expeditions, one of the things to know is although the weight is different, like from 515 pounds to 640 pounds, the ground pressure is actually fairly similar. The 16-inch track of the Tundra gives you a 0.33 pounds per square inch, and the 20-inch track of that big Scandic gives you 0 0.30. So it's not a huge difference because the weight kind of cancels out the area. So the other thing is the horsepowers per pound. You do have more power in the Scandic 900s and the Ex Exploration 900s, but they're also heavier. So the horsepower per pound with a 300 pound weight, uh, payload goes from 0 0.07 to 0.10, so a 30% difference. So that is a difference. Uh, the other thing to look at is the front travel. So if you're traveling on, uh, tr on trails, 
you get 1.47 times the front travel on the expeditions as, as opposed to that pogo suspension. So it is a little bit softer and a little bit better ride on a trail. Um, that is the purr of the 600 Ace with 10 hours on it and the pogo suspension. And that's the slightly throatier purr of the 900 Ace with the A-arm suspension, which is wider and way more sophisticated. But, uh, you know, not as good in the willows for that 5% of the time that you're bashing through the willows. The better probably the rest of the time. So what about ski stance? So you go all the way from 32 inches on the Tundra to 39 inches on the Expeditions. Uh, the 32 inch ski stance is the most tippy, and uh, but you can bully that machine around with your weight. But on a trail, the 39 inches gives you a better ride. Uh, however, when you get into woods, it's nice and easy to get in between stuff with that 32 inches and it's easier to tip over so it's again more maneuverable so another way of looking at it is you 22 percent more ski stance on the expeditions than the tundra and you look at the all here's all the information together so you got less weight with the tundra the most weight with the ace engine in the expedition with that 900 ace and the other thing is you get a very plush uh front suspension with the uh with the expeditions with about 1.47 times more travel. So where do you bring all this home? For groom trail riding, um, I think the expeditions are the best machines. Lakes and river expeditions are the best machines, but when you get to ungroomed trails or thick vegetation, that tundra takes over. So it really depends where you're riding. And for us bison hunting, uh, that tundra does have a place. The other funny thing is the Scandic, you'll notice it doesn't, it's maybe second place in some of these, but it's never first place. So maybe that's why I'm really liking the Tundra. In those places that it excels, it really excels. Where the Scandic is more of a jack of all trades, a master of none.